Good evening, everybody. I'm sitting here thinking, do I have everything? <laughs> Am I ready to um, multi-stream? And I just remembered I don't have my card base. I'm gonna go grab that really quick before we start. One second. Sometimes it's hard to decide which colors you want to use. You want to use cream color or white color or just not sure which one. So we'll just pull out one of each and we'll decide once we're ready for that. Well, good evening, everybody. I am going to allow um, YouTube and Facebook to send out all of those notifications while I pick up, clean up, and wait for people to come on. I think I have, yep, I have grabbed the comments. Let's see where I'm at here. Where's my tool? Oh, I'll just grab my scissors. Can't find my tool. When all else fails, you use scissors, right? <laughs> um, we have this fun little project that we're going to do tonight. I have... Um, I have grabbed some really pretty papers from Honey Bee. Hi, Shelly. Good evening. How are you? What a nice surprise. And hello and good evening, Lindy. Thanks, you guys, for joining me. I'm just putting dyes away so you can see what we have going on with what we're using here. So we're going to do teapot. We're going to do a teapot and a teacup. I think we're going to use two teacups. I suppose we'll see here in a minute what I end up with. But I'm cleaning up my space here because I have a, I had a bunch of dies that I ran through all at once. And now, of course, I've got tape all over them. And, you know, you know, you guys know. Both of you guys know. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. So now I'm just doing cleanup. And how is everybody? Hope everybody's doing well. I'm trying to catch up on sleep. I've had some, last week was zero sleep for me. And I am, um, there we go. Was busy, busy over the weekend. And so I tried to play catch up on sleep for a few days. I don't think I'm still caught up with sleep. Especially being up so late at night. <laughs> I'm a late nighter. I think it's in my blood. Um, anyway, so. Woohoo! Alright. I am going to get this taken care of really quick. Watch, we don't... In, you know, it's so funny. You work so hard to get all your bits and pieces ready to go. And then sometimes you don't even end up using them. You guys ever had that happen? Oops, we can't lose it got it. We've come back here. So I'm just cleaning this up and we'll be ready to start here. I'm putting the dies back in their packages because without the dies in their packages, I don't think you guys can really see what kind of, well, you can see on the project. You'll see. Uh, I guess my concern is you won't know which, which is from which. So, um, Sometimes these little bits and pieces are a little scary to get out. There we go. Got it. Woohoo. All right. So what we got going on here, we have the stitched teapot. And I'm just going to talk about it and put it back while I'm talking about it. Um, so we have the teapot here. I have also die cut a handle, a lid, and a spout. So in a different color. We might use it. We might not. We shall see, right? And let's see, is that right? Yep, there it is. Here's the lid. So that is the stitched teapot from Lawn Fawn. Fun. The next thing we have here is the stitched teacup from Lawn Fawn. 
And yes, we're taking what I consider cutesy, clean, and all of that, clean and simple, whatever you want to call it, and we're going to vintage it up, make it um, Christmas and fun and vintage. All right, so I think that was it for that. I thought, it, yeah, I did. I did have a, what did I do with, oh, did I not get one of these? I don't know that I got a saucer for my tea. Did I get it? I think I did. I did. I did get a saucer for that. Okay, I'm happy you got some sleep. I go to bed early. I'm old. <laughs> well, I'm old, but I don't go to bed early. <laughs> I, you know what I think my problem is, Shelly? I think my problem is that uh, I work late hours interpreting. And so I'm done at, at 10 p.m. And it's hard for me to wind down um, after work. So that's my problem. It's a large part of my problem. I have, you know, sometimes it, my work can be a little bit charged. And so I have trouble winding down at the end of the day. Okay, so our next set that we um, have here is Christmas Blooms. And I've used some um, poinsettias, little smaller ones, and some greenery dyes. You'll see here in a second when I pull all of those out. So... Um, floral and Christmas greenery from this. And then spellbinders. Yes, spellbinders. And then I've got, for my backgrounds, I've got this uh, fancy framelits from Dare to Be Artsy. These are the largest one. And uh, I've got the rectangle framelits. I've used stitched because the teapot and the teacups are stitched and I thought, well, why don't we just go stitched everything? So this is the rectangle framelits, the largest one. And my paper, all of my paper is from Honeybee Stamps. This is the holiday cheer. And I've picked papers that I feel like will vintage up really nicely. I also chose my sentiment from there. I'll kind of show you. I hit the easy button tonight, folks. The sheet that I used is kind of cut up, but there is a sheet that has some sentiments that you can cut out in strips, which makes it, hi Linda, good evening. I'm so glad you joined us, yay. So this makes it nice when you're making Christmas cards. There's two sheets of these. It, they go really quickly when you don't have to do a bunch of stamping and that's kind of what I chose for this evening. Beautiful papers. And then, I'm hoping we do use it. We have ribbon that's about to hit the store. This is a crinkle ribbon, and it is just, okay guys, the ribbon that's getting ready to hit the store is very yummy, and I'm very excited for it. So I have not entered it in yet, just yet, but um, I'm, this is going to be hitting the store. So that is, um, oh, I forgot to show you, and I forgot to put this back. The uh, tag is from the, this rectangle set. Excuse me, rectangle framelits. It's right here in the center. So yes, we have ribbon, and I mostly focused on fall. I did. I got other things other than fall and Christmas. So I have some fall and Christmas ribbons that are about to hit the store. We've got. We actually have to take the. We have to measure them and wrap them and package them. So it takes a little bit of time. Oh dear. One second, folks. Something fell and I don't want to. Oh, it's it's just paper. <laughs> I thought maybe it was a product and I was like, I don't want dice falling out of packages. Anyway. Um, so yeah. Ribbon. We have ribbon. I'm so excited. Pretty ribbon. And I feel like the ribbon will be very reasonably priced as well. So all right, let's roll. Let's get this. Let's get this show on the road. So the first thing I want to do is I want to vintage. Get some vintage uh, photo distress ink. This is regular distress ink, and I'm just gonna go around and start. I'm just gonna start with some this some of this ink and just kind of go around my edges with it and y'all don't laugh at me if my um, it's my base that I need to I need to get it secured again Let's see yeah this thing <laughs> oh 
Okay, you're allowed to laugh at me. <laughs> I'm having a little bit of trouble keeping it on there for some reason. It's the this glue that it came on. It's been so long that I've had this, and I think the temperatures may have impacted it. Um, I may not do handles, and uh, we'll see. Let's look at it. Let's look at the teeth. Do we want that on there or not? Wait a second. What did I do? I thought that was it is the spout. So I'm looking at it thinking, do I want the spout a different color? Let's lay this down. I kind of like it all one color. All of the floral looking. I just like that. I don't know if I want it to be different, you know? It does distinguish it. Hopefully my internet internet is going to be cooperative tonight. Come on up. What do you guys think? like it all floral. Maybe the lid and the, maybe we'll go with just the lid and the saucer. Did I not cut out the bit? We can always do one if I didn't. I think I like it like that. I think I like, do like that. We'll see. Okay, so let's vintage this up. I may have to hold it in place. <laughs> oh boy. Now I'm gonna go around these edges and kind of give it some extra oomph. I don't know if y'all can see what that does just gives it a little more dimension. I like that. I may very lightly go over this. Listen, so it's not so stark white, just very lightly. So now we've given it a little different look with adding that ink on there. Okay, let's keep going. Let's do these cups. I'm thinking I'm gonna stack these inside of each other, kind of like this. Two little cups, maybe kind of tipped like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, ink these up, kind of following the same process that I did here. I die cut some extra handles, but we may just let it be. And this one definitely is going to be the one that's tucked in there. Hey, Shelly, Linda saying hi to you. <laughs> Looks like my internet is cooperating tonight, guys. And let's ink this up a little more. Okay. So let's see, what else do we have hit in the store? We have, we have some honeybee. We have more spell binders that have come in. I haven't put them in yet. Um, let's see, we have Concord and Ninth on the way. We are adding Concord and Ninth to our store. 
and I have a big announcement. <laughs> I will not sell it online. It can only be sold brick and mortar, just an FYI, um, the, per the rules of our daily bread. But I will be adding our daily bread to the store. Once we open the store, we will have that in store only. So that's, that's kind of cool. Kind of excited about that. Yay! All right, so I like that. I like the look of that. Let's ink up some more. I don't know how much, I don't think that really is gonna make a difference, but we can try. We can see if it'll make a difference. Sometimes it does. We can try. Yeah, it doesn't really match. Okay, this might, yeah, now let's see, let's, let's ink up some of our greenery, and I always get tape on me, <laughs> I'm just gonna do this really quick. And Shelly says, hi, Linda. <laughs> I'll leave that. Get all of our leaves going. You may not be able to tell. It's just giving it a little, a little bit of a vintage look here. Not quite so dull and monochromatic. I guess that's the word I'm looking for, isn't it? Or just, um, all right. Now, let's do, I just realized I don't have, I didn't die cut a background for that, so I need to do that. Some pine cones. One more that we didn't get done. Hopefully this will go faster. And it is. Yay. So, the new word on the store. Um, painting the walls are happening next week. I'm very excited. So that's very exciting. And it looks like we're on, on track to move in close to the end of the month. So I'm once we get moved in and we start setting up stuff, we'll kind of have a better idea of when we will be ready to open or have a ground, grand opening rather is what I'm trying to get at know that I really wanted it that dark. I just wanted it really light. So I'm going to try this one. I Luckily, I did two of these. Okay. So for the inside of the teacup. And we're going to do a tag. Get this inked up. Shelly and Pill, you shopping. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh my goodness. Y'all are hilarious. Okay. And I thought I would do a handle. I think I'm going to keep the handles the same. And I think we are done with inking everything up. Yay. So I'm not using that. We will be using this, and we're not using that. Okay, now we've got everything organized. My hands are dirty. Huh? 
So, let's get this clean. Um, said I was ready, and then I realized, whoop, I might want to ink this up a little. I think I have decided I am going to go with cream. And I am going to need to, let's do this side. I'm going to ink up those edges, but I'm just going to do it ever so slightly with whatever's left on here. enough. <laughs> I may have to take a dip. <clears throat> All right. Yay. That is exactly what I wanted. Woohoo. Okay. So now I'm going to do this one as well. So I'm just going to get some of this vintage photo. See, I said I was done and I wasn't. Ah. Add some of that. These papers are so pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to glue this background on and then we're going to start assembling. Although, I think I need a couple more backgrounds, don't I? I need a couple more backgrounds for my, my pine cones. But let's wait and see if I actually even end up using them first. Let's, let's go that direction. So let's glue all this down. Let's see, Amy Hatcher, no I'm not shoving. Oh, hi, Amy. Hello. Nice to see you. <laughs> I'm glad you joined us. <laughs> we're just we're just over here creating. We're creating a Christmas card from a teapot set that was released for the summer. And um it's kind of a clean and simple set, but we're just um Typically cutesy, clean, and simple, but I'm I've started my Christmas. It's Christmas in July, right? So I, I'm starting my Christmas card making. We're not going to do all Christmas cards for the month of July, but I just thought let's get let's get a move on it. Let's do some Christmas in July, and let's let's take some sets. They're kind of like not what you expect to make a Christmas card kind of why I did the penguin set with that weight stitched wavy background. I don't know if you saw that. Um, that stitched wavy background is intended for water so instead I created snow scene. A snow scene with some what was supposed to look like a frozen lake. Shiny shimmery frozen lake. And so yeah that's we're just over here, not blotchy, glitchy. Oh, internet's been blotchy. I'm, am I blotchy? Or is it, is it my internet that's blotchy or is it yours, Lindy? Glitchy, not blotchy, glitchy. <laughs> glitchy, blotchy, whatever, right? As long as we don't mix up the G and the B. <laughs> Glitchy. Blotchy. <laughs> All right. So, I'm thinking. I'm thinking, thinking. And I'm definitely, let's put this um, saucer down. Did I do the right one? I don't know if I have the right, did I get the right one? Okay, I did. All right, yep, I did. That's kind 
of weird that the cups don't have saucers. Maybe it's me. So I'm just gonna glue this on. I'm not doing anything special other than just, oh, I'm gonna do it this way instead. I catch that. So I'm gonna let you see. You could tuck that in. There's a slit there. There's a slit on the on the uh, saucer, but I'm just gonna leave it there for some extra an extra look. Okay. So um, let's put the lid on. Oh, you guys. So. Is it me, Lindy, or do you think it's you? Do you have any idea? Because the last couple times I've been live, it's been me. And um, we rebooted because um, it seemed like we were having issues. And we shouldn't because we are on the highest level of internet that we can have. And um, so it should not be the way that it was. Oops, I do not get that all the way down. So, um, so essentially that's what we did. We rebooted, it seemed to help and I'm hoping that it's still helping. All right. I thought about tying a bow on my teapot, the handle of my teapot. I just thought that would be so cute. So I think I'm going to do that now. Everybody else, is my internet doing okay? Is it, it's not breaking up like it did last time, is it? like that. That's cute. I've got to fiddle with it for a hot minute. Sometimes it does take a bit before ribbon cooperates. Ooh, so pretty. Yeah, I'm happy. I want to do some greenery behind there and it's a bit much it's swallowing up the card <laughs> I always say start with more you can always subtract right Much better. Okay. And speaking of greenery, I'm going to pop this behind here and just kind of get some greenery going. I think we'll do sentiment. I'm all over the page, folks. All over the page. <laughs> I don't even know if we're going to end up being able to use these. I just thought they would be so pretty. Kind of hanging off of here, down here. Like so. Um, I'm playing right now. Trying to figure out what I want. You know what? I need to 
get my these are the jewel drops these are strawberry this is the strawberry one so um I'm gonna get that to dry before we're ready for it so I'm just using the Nuva drops here right here on the edges of that It's not a very bright red, it's more of a light red. And I thought it would be pretty to pick up that lighter color. Oops, see guys, me and Nuvo. Or any kind of Set it aside, let it dry, get it out of the way. So I just put that on there so it would dry, those little, little berries. Um, what was I saying? Hey, Lisa, hi. How are you tonight? Thanks for joining me. All right, leaves. I feel like these need to tuck behind And we can um, let's put this inside the yeah let's we'll do that next we'll get these leaves on there in just a sec here but I am gonna go ahead and glue this on so this goes on the inside you could put coffee like you can make it darker for coffee you could do it a medium color for tea but I um, because these are just going to be stacked and empty I opted for that same color that I inked it up in um, around the edges just a very light color so that it kind of mirrors what's on here I'm so glad you're here Lisa thanks for joining us all right, so I'm going to tuck that in like so. Come back here and glue it down on the back side. And that should do it. So we're good and glued down. And I thought maybe we could put this here on the teacups. I thought that would be cute. Question is, do I want dimension between that? Nah, it's not going to do it. Not today. And we'll put our leaves kind of at the corner. Get a little glue back here to catch it. So we'll have leaf number one. And leaf number two. I'll hold that there for a second. All right, now I can catch up and see if I've said hello to everybody. <laughs> Making sure that I've said hello. All right. Did I actually get glue on that one? I don't know that I did. No, I didn't. Get some glue under there. It's time to refill my bottles. I feel like this needs a gem in the middle of it. Right? Y'all with me? <laughs> so, yeah. Let's get some dimension behind that. Pull out these little ones and see what we get. These are scrapbook adhesives and they the 3D foam squares. And I'm gonna use the smallest ones. Um, these are a quarter of an inch, I believe. I'm just gonna pop that up there. I'm gonna get a gem up there. 
we're gonna set that there maybe. Bring that up. Unless we want, nah, that's too much. That, that covers that up too much. So our big teapot is going to stay kind of in the background. I'll pop the sentiment up. Um, I definitely want my pine cones there for sure. And so let's get our... So I chose Deck the Halls. And yeah, I'm not going to pop it up. I'm just going to leave it down. What she means, Amy Hatcher, is that she is not shopping at this moment. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh my goodness. You ladies are funny. All right. So deck the halls. What fun is that? Leaving me some room to kind of put my pine cones there, right off the edge of that. Uh, let's leave these out. Let's do a background, shall we? It's hard to decide. All I know is I better move this thing out of the way or I will make a disaster of it. <laughs> That's kind of my MO. Oh, I'm looking at these. This would be pretty, wouldn't it? These are the Pink Fresh Metallic Pearls. That would be pretty in the center of my... I feel like I'm all over the place, jumping here and there. I just saw it and I went, ooh, don't forget to put your pearl there. So that's what we're doing. We're just gonna put a pearl there. That'd be really pretty right there. And there she goes. Oh, look at that, guys. That's so pretty. If I focused. It's kind of got an iridescent look about it. Well, I'm doing terrible at this tonight, aren't I? Oh well, it's pretty. It's got a pretty sheen, so I like that. All right, let's get the backgrounds to our pine cones and we can adhere all of this together and call it a card. Place. some scrap paper here. Y'all are going to see how chintzy I am. I save everything. Look at that. <laughs> All right. I mean, if we're knock knocking a camera off tonight, we're doing good, right?
it'll work. And if we put it towards the edge, we don't have to take it all the way through. All right. And that is done. Yay. Ink these up. I think I want to go light. Go light handed with this and not as dark. So I have some contrast there. Uh, maybe a little darker than that. I decided I wanted to use the same color to kind of keep it consistent throughout. You could change your colors if you wanted to. But I just decided this is what I wanted to do. Keep all this vintage photo. I think it needs to be a little darker. All right. Yes, we could probably even make these darker to give it more contrast. I think we're good. Yes, those are pretty. All right. Move these out. That up. And put this back so we don't lose it. So how many dies have you guys lost through the years, through the crafting years? I'm glad to say I've only lost, I can count on one hand the number of dies that I've lost. Very thankful for that. So I'm just going around the edge of this. I'm not really gonna go anywhere else on this, but just the edge and pick up that glue. Sometimes I, I'm afraid that I've lost a die, and I don't know that I've lost a die. <laughs> so you should see my floor in here. There's a rug, like a, an area rug in here in this room, and it's gray. It's got some cream on it, cream color on it as well. My husband is always wanting to come in here and vacuum, and I'm terrified of him vacuuming <laughs> because I'm afraid I've lost a die and I don't know it. Isn't that terrible? So you can only imagine what this floor looks like. So once we move out of here, that'll be the first thing he'll want to do after we move out. Clean this rug. All right, let's do that. Glue these together. And... We can kind of extend this. Uh, you know what? So now here's where the arranging comes in because, you know, I feel like I need to know where this is gonna, where this sentiment goes really depends on a lot. So we're going to tuck that in and tuck this in. And kind of like so. And go that direction. So right here, we 
don't want to go too far. Bring that here. Bring this up. So we're going to be doing a lot of uh, All right. I kind of think, well, let's turn it. Let's see what we get with that. I feel like I'm losing the handle. <laughs> I don't want the handle be, to be completely covered. So maybe we should, I don't know. No, we shouldn't. Folks, this is what we call fiddling with it for got to fiddle with it. Do y'all ever do this? It's like, I don't want to cover that up because if I, if I do, so we're going to bring that out, bring that up and kind of give it the illusion that that tag, that's what I want to do is give it the illusion that the tag kind of tucks underneath there and attaches underneath. I don't know if you can see really what I'm doing. That's kind of where I'm headed with this. And I'm gonna glue this down. Just like so, I think. But before I do, I'm gonna make sure my... doing the same thing it's done before so I assume it's you I'll go look at another video to see what it does huh so it's me again huh that's so weird you guys I thought I figured it out it's a big bummer all right that's how it's going this is exactly how I'm going to do it Decision made. Does. <laughs> I, I probably read it as does, Lindy. <laughs> Even if you, you did, you typed it wrong, I probably read it that way. Mine keeps buffering, but that totally could be, you know what? If it's buffering for Lindy, she's over there on YouTube. So buffering for her, it's probably me again, which is really weird. So I may be having a talk with our internet provider. Maybe we need a new modem. That could totally be the problem here, folks. All right. Now, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to put this on dimension. Where did my dimension go? I'm going to put use the big ones. We're going to put this on dimension. That's got to get resolved. So using the same type, but we're using the half inch ones this time. And So weird and you know when I posted the video back or when the, the when the video finally posted there wasn't any buffering it didn't record that way so it's kind of weird I didn't have to like repost or anything so it's odd completely odd all right Hmm. And nobody else is here but me, so it's not like we're we have a bunch of devices running. So I don't know. It's really strange. Okay. So we're gonna tuck that just like so. And 
we still see a tea hand, teapot handle. Yay! Now, and these cups still fit on here. Hip, hip, hooray. That makes me happy. Everything fits. Making me happy. Okay. So because this is going to sit right here on the card, and this is going to pop up, I want to make sure when I tuck my greenery in, they don't. it doesn't run off the page. Um, but first, let me double check over here on this to see if it has dried, and it should have. We should be safe. Yep, we're safe to use it now. Okay, so doing this in the center. Can tuck that some more. This is gonna go that way, and I'm gonna tuck this one just like down right there okay I'm gonna do this the professional way <laughs> kind of get it to stick down it should somewhat stick. Okay, it's not completely ready, but it will do. Kind of wanted that to kind of, yeah, do that. So I'm gonna glue that down. It's kind of hard to tuck that in because it's so skinny. So, Lenny says, seems to be running fine on our end. Hmm. Yeah, so it's me. I have this feeling at it. Yeah, totally. I think it's me. So I have to call them anyway. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> My sticky fingers pulled that right off. <laughs> All right. I lost a berry. We'll glue it back on. It was probably not ready to be messed with, but it, it can go back on. It totally can. Oh, maybe it wasn't. Yeah, it was. It's gloppy. It wasn't ready to go on. So I'm going to have to. I will reapply that after the live or after we're done here. So, okay. Is that where I want it to go? Maybe a little bit further over. did it. Okay, we're going to glue this down. Is it straight? My card's not very straight. Just looking it over. Bring that down. And I think, yes, it is. I'll come around here. That makes it a little bit easier. And now these are just going to attach to the back of my teapot, so they're not going to go anywhere. And I'm going to glue this. Hopefully y'all can see this, what I'm doing. I'm just going underneath here. some glue on my ribbon. <laughs> that down. And now we can just get underneath here. And now we're ready 
for some dimension on this. I'm not going to fuss with those teacup handles, though. I'm just going to get this part here. Get that to connect there. If I was really worried about it, I could have probably die cut that out with foam, but I'm not going to worry about it. Let's see. All right. I think we did it. We made it through, folks. Yay. I do like that a lot. Woohoo! All right. There it is. Boy, you, it's real it looks completely different on this end. Um, I will tell you that it's brighter on your end than it really is here. I don't know if it's because of the lights up above, but I really like it a lot. A lot, a lot. So all right, folks. Thanks for joining me, and I am going to make sure that I check out what's going on with our internet and why it seems to be buffering so much. But hopefully we'll get it resolved before the next live. All right, guys, take care. I hope you have a blessed rest of your day and a blessed rest of your week. Do something creative.